I feel like all I ever do is talk about fluid engine. I'm not like some weird obsessive over grids and moving blocks, but you know, there's there's a lot that the people need to know. So I always come back to speaking about it in these videos. And one thing that trips people up a lot is the grid system that fluid engine employs. It it's confused people and it, it continues to confuse people to this day. And one thing that people like I've seen actual designers not know how to do this. Like this, this trips a lot of people up is the ability to close the gaps in between the grids. So, you know, you see all the, the grid items and they've all got, you know, 10 PX between them. And so if you try and do, like, as an example, you try and put like a image that fills up one side and then text next to it and then flip it. So you've got text on this side and then an image on this side they can't get the bottom corner of the right image to line up with the top corner of the left image. Or I don't know, you're watching it the other way around, but you know what I mean? So you can't get the corners to touch it. Like it looks crap. And all they really needed to know is how to shut that gap. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. So I didn't do a brilliant job of explaining that. So before I show you the solution, I'll show you what the problem looks like. So I click on edit. And then I'll add in a new section, so blank section. I'll grab this image and we'll put that up here. And so make that full bleed like so. And then we'll have this image and we'll make that full bleed. So, you know, to the edge like so. And then we'll bring this one to the middle. So they're both in the, they're both in the middle. So they're both aligned towards the middle, but we've got this gap. So let's say, you know, I've pulled this, Pull this down. We've got our text. I won't make you imagine it. I'll actually put a text block in because I'm nice. So move this over. Uh, I feel like I've made this Sam is cool joke a million times. But anyway, you've got that text there and this text here. This is, you know, this is a, a cool layout for a cool guy, but it just, it doesn't touch. So what's going on? And if we click G to bring up the grid, we can see, okay, well, each, each grid item has like this, this gap between it. So what do we do? Well, we go into edit section and the easiest thing straight away is just click this to close them. Now, if I click G, you can see if I zoom in, they touch perfectly. So that's how you create those, um, those really nice layouts. And just as a bonus, because I'm, I'm really nice and really cool. If you click fill screen, that's going to bring it up to the top and the bottom of the section. So it gets rid of all padding. You can see this better once I change the color. There we go. So that's how you create those layouts, but it's also how you get rid of any gap in the grid. Now, if you did want a little bit of a gap, you can do that. So you can click on the three dots and then you can choose how big or small the gap is between each grid item. I feel like there's a, a word that you'd call those other than grid, I, grid items, but hopefully you understand what I mean. Anyway, that's how you do it. Hopefully that was simple enough. Hopefully you found it useful. If you did, please make sure to leave a like and hit subscribe. And if you want me to build your Squarespace website, you can get in touch using the links in the description.